Today, we're going to take a look at the vCloud application director demo. We're going to walk through putting together a multi-tier application using services that are powered by Puppet Labs technologies. As you can see, we're logged into the application director console using the web interface. Now, what we're going to do here today is we're going to deploy an application with a Puppet module. This application director is already prepared with the Puppet integration setup, so we can start building applications right away. So let's build a new Puppet multi-tier application. So let's click New, and we're going to name it Puppet Multi-Tier App. Application director gives you the option to specify the version. So you could change the version of the application if needed. And we're saving it here. And we will create an application blueprint that is made of multiple nodes. In this case, we're using a web node and a database node. So CentOS, both nodes. And we're going to start building each node with Puppet content that was imported into this application director. So we did a search on the content that was imported. And as you can see, there's many modules that are available. So let's put Puppet Apache on this node, the web node. And let's put Puppet MySQL on the database node. And just to keep the time in sync, we're going to drop the Puppet NTP service on each node. Let's do a renaming so that the names are readable. Now let's go in and define the dependencies. So as you can see here, Puppet Apache is dependent upon the NTP service, and MySQL is dependent upon the NTP service. Let's also create cross-node dependencies. In this case, Puppet Apache is dependent upon the MySQL database. And we'll talk a little bit more about the execution flow later. At this point, we can specify the values of the properties of the application here. You can see the password is secure because the catalog administrator logged it as secured. So let's go ahead and deploy this application. This same app can be deployed in multiple environments. For our purposes, we're going to deploy it in the test environment. And as you can see, we actually have already created some other environments that the administrators are managing, development, production, staging. So you can move that application as needed through the lifecycle. So for the test environment, we will click on Map Details because we want to do some more configuration in the test environment and this app. And so here's your chance to specify the property values that are specific to this instance of the application or this environment. The properties that you see here directly correspond to the parameters of the Puppet class or defined resource. Going through, you see the NTP, everything that is associated with that Puppet class. All right, so more on the execution flow of the application. This is sort of the mapping of what the dependencies are of the application. It gives a nice overview of what's dependent upon what and where the application is laid out on each node. And in this instance, you will see that the Apache installation is going to wait on the MySQL server completion and database. When we click Deploy, finally, the application director will deploy a new virtual machine from scratch. It'll install the OS, storage, networking, and will also lay out the bits that are specified by the application blueprint. Let's look at a deployed application at this point. So this application is also multi-tiered. And let's look at the blueprint for the application. And as you can see, this is a pretty typical three-tier bank application. It's got Apache, JBoss as the application server, and Puppet MySQL as the database application. And this uses both Puppet and non-Puppet based content. And now let's look at the execution flow in this application deployment. We'll go to the execution plan, and you can see the cross-node dependency. See how long it took for the Puppet agent to install? 
you can see the puppet agent runs and the output of the agent, including its report, right from the application director console. So as you can see with the integration of application director and puppet, you will get a great depth in configuration management and the provisioning of your virtual infrastructure. Thank you.